Righteousness is what I long for. Righteousness is what I need. Just sitting here, um, getting my daily bread, getting my daily manna, reading the Bible, reading the Word early in the morning. Got up pretty early. Didn't really want to get up, but I heard in my spirit, slothfulness is like a, the sin. The lazy man don't want to go outdoors like it's they scared because it, they scared it, as if a lion is outside waiting to eat them. Scared to get up and go do something. Get up. Get up. Make up your bed. Get up. And, um... And laziness just brings, uh, slothfulness, which is laziness, brings poverty upon yourself. So I'm like, I got to get up. Like, like maybe I need to go to bed earlier, you know, if I'm ty- that tired in the morning. But it's hard when you're living with other people and everybody gets up at different times. You got different spirits. You got different energies in the house and stuff like that. And it ain't easy. But there's a reason, you know, you know, use me, Lord, in this situation is my prayer. Use me while I'm here until I get, you know, draw near closer to you so I can figure out how so you can show me a way out and get my own spot, my own place. And that's the next step. So basically, um, before I before I decided to push play and sing that little little snippet about righteousness, I was reading Psalm 143, and the verse 1 says, Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in your righteousness. And that's when I thought about righteousness is what I long for. Righteousness is what I need. And so the... um. Next verse says, Enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy have persecuted my soul. He have smitten my life down to the ground. He made me dwell in darkness as those that have long been dead. So what I'm doing is just reading, right? Reading the word. And when I, something resonates with me, then I just, a song pops up and I just sing it to the whatever melody I feel. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. And that just right there automatically makes me think of the song that I wrote called My Soul is Cast Down. So I'm going to read it again. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. That sounds like depression. And maybe David, who wrote the Psalms, or any one of us, have been depressed or was depressed at that time when he wrote that. I'm, I'm sure desolate, overwhelmed. My soul is overwhelmed. Is that what it said? Yeah, my spirit is overwhelmed. Well, that happens. And then, yeah, that's called depression. So, like, I wrote this song when I was in prison in 1996 called My Soul is Cast Down because that's how I felt. Spirit, soul, Everything, my whole, everything about me was just so depressed on that particular day when I wrote that song. You know, I didn't have my son. He was a year, he was a year, he was five. He was five years old when I went to prison in 1996. And I was, um, everything, I was overwhelmed at that time. So I just happened to be reading this now. And the song goes, I want to know why my soul is cast down I wanna know why I'm having so much pain Can't wait to write the music to it Jesus won't you help me I'm having trouble That was my prayer that day Jesus won't you save me once again because my lord my soul is cast down 
And my Lord, I'm having so much pain. So that has about four or five choruses to it, but that's a, I like that song. That's the song I wrote. And it goes, um, I remember, I remember the days of old. I meditate on all yet on all thy works. When it says thy, I just take, I just say your. I meditate on all your works because all that thee and thy and thou just trips me up and just gets me all messed up. It says I muse, or another word for muse is fascinate myself on your work, on your, on the work of your hands. So I muse myself. I muse, I muse on the work of your hands. Ain't no song coming to me about that. And then it says, I stretch forth my hands unto you. So, Lord, I stretch forth my hands unto you. My soul thirst after thee. I ain't even finished with that um, script, that script, that verse right there. And already I'm thinking of, um, my soul longeth after thee. So that song is called, As the Deer Panteth for the Water. And that's straight out the Bible is... In one of these psalms, it's like my soul is thirsty after you, just like the deer is thirsty after water at the creek. So the deer is like, oh, man, I got to get some, you know, some water. So he goes in and finds the creek, right, the canal or whatever. And our soul is just like that, looking for the water, thirsting after water, thirsting after righteousness, thirsting. Not holier than thou, but just trying to get right, trying to be right. Ain't nothing wrong with trying to be right, man. I'm telling you, try. You can be wrong because we we can be wrong all day long. You can try to be right and still be wrong. All right, so it says, um, "I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul, my soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land." Salah. Hear me speedily, O Lord. Hear me quickly. My spirit fails. My spirit is overwhelmed. My spirit is failing. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like them that go down to the pit. He says, Seek, asking it shall be given, seeking you shall find, knocking the door shall be open. Hide not your face from me. It says, seek my face. Seek me early. Seek my face. Seek me early. This is the faith, this is the faith, yeah, faith and face of God. This is the face of God in here. He said, draw near to me and I'll draw near to you. And that's what um that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to do every day. So now even more and more. Even more and more, two, three times a day, as much as I can get, you know, until I change. And um, you know how the scriptures, some of y'all might know, it says some of these things don't come out. They don't come out unless you fast and pray. I want him so desperately right now for my life to change that I ain't just, I'm just not going to eat. It's just that simple. Call me what you want. I don't care. That's your opinion. I don't care about other people's opinions. You can't care about other people's opinions when you're looking and seeking and finding God. When you're trying to do right by him, when he say, it's all about the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom of God. And uh, whatever he want me to do is what I was born to do. And so I'm seeking that, 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 that purpose, that, that destiny, that, that journey, that journey I'm on right now. Been on that journey all my life. You've been on you've been on your journey all your life too, but um, journey where journey to your destination. That's it. Ooh, that be itchy. Journey to my destination, but um, drawing near, drawing closer to him is my desire. This is my desire to worship you. All I have within me is for you. I'm going to end the video right here. This is a sweet spot. And I'm going to get back into my um, personal worship time. I just wanted to share something with you guys. Let you know. If you don't know, this is just how I do it. You know, if you don't know how to do it, you can do it like that. You know, don't have to sing unless you sing. You, you can always sing to God. You know, even if you think you can't sing. He don't care. He loves you. He loves your voice. He loves everything about you. He made you. He created you. He formed you in your mother's womb. He knit you together. He knows every single number of, of hairs on your head. That's incredible. 
And that's who we serve, an incredible God. See you guys tomorrow. Shard Timers, take care. Thanks for joining me today.